is Aaron from the Washboard Union. Tomorrow is a very exciting day. You're releasing your new album, Everbound. And um, congratulations. <laughs> it's such a unique title. How did you come up with that? Yeah, so it's, it's one of those words. It's, it's actually a made up word. Um, so you won't find that one in the dictionary. But um, when we were writing this album and uh, recording it, we, we kind of felt that we were, um, we were pushing ourselves as writers and pushing ourselves as performers. And um, every, ever since we started Washboard Union, we've always been a bit of a square peg in a round hole. Um, we didn't really sort of fit the radio at the time, but we did it anyways. And then fans gravitated towards uh, whether it was something different or fresh, but um, we really appreciated that. Um, so we've continued to always kind of push the boundaries like that. Um, this album is no different, but we really wanted to push it um, uh, in a different direction, like style-wise, look-wise, and really give uh, the, the listeners something uh, different. Uh, we weren't really planning for this time that is right now, COVID-19, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah. um, we did manage to get all of our uh, songs mixed and mastered and all the artwork done before all this happened. So we are very, very lucky, fortunate, and excited to be releasing this right now. Um, Everbound for us means... Uh, it's kind of boundless creativity, um, hope, and uh, um, sort of having no 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 boundaries on what you can accomplish or what you can dream. Um, it might have different connotations for other people, but that's the beauty of the word, and that's the beauty of this album is that it's up for interpretation. So we can't wait for uh, for um, your version and your interpretation of this album. Yeah, I think it's great. I know a lot of artists have been postponing their albums. Um, some of them because they have to, they can't get into the recording studio, but others, you know, have just chosen to do it. And I guess you guys have followed through with it. I guess the message of the album is, you know, kind of helps pertain to what we're going through right now a bit. Yeah, indirectly, uh, it, it definitely does. And I think uh, with what we're made of, we, some other kind of theme developed uh, as it was being recorded and by the time it was released, it really had um, sort of a meaning concrete. But uh, right now we feel it's a great time to release this music. Um, there, It's an album filled with hopeful songs, songs that can make you cry, songs that make you feel uh, just like getting up and dancing on your, on your, on your, I guess as your, on your porch as it were right now. <laughs> um, but um, it's, it's got a lot of variety to it and, and we're really excited about it. And I think we think it's a great time to like, release it right now. Yeah. So this, um, what, what are some of the influences that helped shape this album? Um, I think, uh, I think it's interesting because it's got a lot of, um, it still has a lot of roots to it in its sort of instrumentation. We've got a really great bluegrass tune, you know, uh, inspired song. Mm -hmm. um, also, it's got a bit of a, like the cool part of pop meaning that you know we've really took it took some time and, and created some really cool melodies for this that are that are that are very singable which is indicative of pop music um but it's not you know a pop country as it were but it it's just singability i think is really what it's going for um and then of course we write with harmony in mind um so harmony always for me makes my my skin tingle and gives that sort of that feeling of you know that we're living, that it's, 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 it's almost like uh, you can forget that you're living sometimes until you hear harmony. And it's like, Oh gosh, that feeling. I just felt something. I feel I'm a man. I'm a person, yeah. you know? Um, so I think that's a, a really important element that we bring to our music um, and to the fabric of country music. Is there a particular lyric that uh, resonates with you the most? Uh yeah, you know, there is, um, I, I think there's, we really pushed the boundaries on, 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 as I said, on the songwriting on this album. And one of the songs was a slow song. Um, we kind of knew that we had this collection of songs, but, um, we really lacked a different side of washboard, which would be slower ballady, um, sort of a sensitive side of washboard, which we haven't really put out before. And, uh, there's a song on there called, uh, more memories than wishes. And I love the sentiment of that statement, um, namely one, because it would start off as more wishes than memories. So it's like, may you never stop wishing so that your wishes bank is always higher than just what you've done. But I thought, you know, what an interesting twist to twist that around. And, you know, when you look back at a, 
at a relationship with somebody um, or your life as a whole or with your kids, your family, whatever. Um, what if you were, what if at the end of it all you, or at a certain point you calculated and said, I right now have more memories than I ever wished for or more memories than wishes I wish I would have done. Um, those wishes have actually turned into memories. So I've done them, you know, so there's a hopefulness there. And I think that's an important part. Yeah, absolutely. That's definitely something different, but sends a good message and something we can all relate to. I, and especially right now too. Yes. So um, let's switch it up to something more happier. Uh, Country Thunder, your first single off the album, that's been doing really well. And it has a really fun music video to go along with it. How did the puppets come into play here? <laughs> it's such a funny story. When, so when we have a song uh, and we say, okay, let's make a video for it, we do sort of ask some directors that we've been that we've worked with in the past um, who we trust to say, hey, do you have any ideas? And Stefano Barbaros is one of those people. Um, and so we, I, I had a conversation with him and I was like, you know, what do you think? And so he sent a sent an email one day saying, what do you think about puppets? And I just wrote back, I love it. Go for it. And the thing is, we'd been talking about doing some sort of music video involving puppets, marionettes, cartoon, something that just sort of switched it up from a typical music, a country music video. And we felt it hadn't been done before. Um, so when he said that, I was just like, bingo. Like, that's, that's why we work with you, because you've got great unique ideas um so anyways he came back with a treatment and we went back and forth with it uh, and i remember going to the label specifically and saying hey what do you think about puppets <laughs> and there was radio silence on the phone i remember it was <laughs> like you could hear a pin drop or and uh and uh, i remember kelly saying this is going to be a hard sell mm -hmm. so i knew at that point it would either be our uh our, our, our greatest accomplishment or our biggest failure. Mm -hmm. Well, it's very nice that, you know, they gave you the creative freedom to pursue that. And it really, really great. Worked out there. Um, so your next song was released earlier this month, Doc Rock. Mm -hmm. That's another fun one. Did you know that there's already a line dance for it that somebody choreographed and put it on YouTube? You know what? I... I don't. I'm going to be quite frank with you. I do not know that. Um, yeah. I also don't put it past them because that, those line group, those line dance groups are, are so on top of their line dances. I know Country Thunder had one the day after and I should have known to check if Doc Rock had one. Um, so is it, is it Italy? Is it France? Where is it from? Um, I can't remember. I really, I can't remember. I might have been around here or maybe France. I think there's a little bit of French in it, so maybe okay. some sort of connection here or there. But yeah, have you line dance before? Um, I did. I, I have. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I've got <laughs> to spend more time. You know, I think with line dancing, you really got to spend some time on it, and uh, it becomes a hobby and a passion, and uh, I, I just, there's not enough hours in the day for me, I think. Yeah. It'd be a fun activity for you and the guys. You're right. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we should do something during this uh, quarantine social distancing thing. Absolutely. So how will you be celebrating this release? So it's a, it's, it's really fun when we release an album, we always like to make it a party, um, you know, invite a bunch of friends, a bunch of industry and have a big event, play live, do something like that. Yeah. Except right now during this, we, we can't, we can't do that. We can't get together socially. We can't do any of that kind of stuff. So how do you do, uh, how do you have a party when we can't get together? So we thought of a cool idea would be putting us on YouTube and taking our audience track by track through the songs and explaining some stories about it, some things about the songwriting and as well as some uh, exciting, uh, you know, anecdotes about the, the song or the album um, and also be on a live chat with that. So all you got to do is go to the YouTube channel and subscribe to our channel and um, <clears throat> and then just set yourself an alert for 12.30 PST, uh, and that's 3.30 EST, yep. and that's on Friday. Yeah, so all right, that's a great to, idea. We can't wait to, to chat with people, we'll be able to answer questions, and you know, just have some chit chat, which you don't normally get to do at a, at a concert that you're um, you know, technically performing at, right? Yeah, and that way, you know, everybody gets to be a part of it worldwide. But that's it, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I know you're busy, so I'm gonna let you go, but thank you so much for joining me today. That's great. Alexa, thanks for taking the time with us today. You're welcome. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Bye.